Hey everybody, Ron Burke, Editor-in-Chief for GamingTrend.com. Welcome back to the Print Lab. As you can see, we are still printing parts for one very large Space Marine set of armor, but today we're going to check out a little something different, and that is this new device from Sunlu. What you're looking at here is an upcoming device from Sunlu called the Fila Dryer SP2. This is a two-in-one filament dryer and storage box combination. And it's got some really slick features that I honestly have not seen in a lot of other ones. So for one, it's highly portable. I haven't unpacked this one, but you can see that it's got this pretty handy carrying handle here. So you can pick this up and move it around. And the top here simply locks down slides closed. There's a matching one on the back. I'm going to leave that off for when we get to what's next. Inside is a handle here and that can hold a one, two, or three kilogram uh, filament. It can obviously go smaller than that, but uh, it's meant to hold one, two, or three pretty easily. And I'm going to grab one here in just a minute and put that inside and show you what makes this kind of special. Now, obviously I can take this one kilogram one and throw that in there, or this big massive three kilogram one, throw that in there as well, separately of course. But in this case, I can grab two, throw this inside and drop that in place. Now to use this, we simply rotate it to the side and these plugs open to allow me to run filament through here to my printer and I can run it directly off of this without needing to pull it out. Now another thing that I think is pretty slick, leaving this top off for just a second. Now again, I've not unpacked this, but you'll notice that on the bottom, this is open. And the reason being, obviously to interface with the heater unit that I'll show you in a second, but these are stackable. So when you stack them like so, suddenly you can maintain the humidity in up to three of these stacked. Everybody's so creative. Now as it stands, just as storage, it'll hold around 50% uh, humidity inside that box, but the working humidity, if you want to re reduce that, it has a built-in hygrometer that will go anywhere from 10 to 90%. So, it does that with a temperature range of between 35 and 70 based off what you're putting in here. Now, if you excuse the lesson for just a second, I'm going to teach you kind of why this is important and how these work. Now, at its most basic, the way a, a filament dryer works is it's going to use a heater. That's this small portion down here and a fan. And the heater is going to heat this chamber. In this case, these are stacks. So it's going to heat both and it's gonna allow that heat to rise and with a fan, it's gonna push that air through and that circulation is gonna cause the water molecules within the filament to break down and that's gonna allow that, to, uh, that water vapor to rise and escape through the top of the uh, system or it's gonna be carried away through a desiccant down here at the bottom. There are a lot of different ways that this can happen but generally speaking, that's how this works. It's science. It's, it's a matter of, of heat and airflow, a desiccant, temperature, and time. So over time, uh, that's why these take like four hours to do because it's got to have that, that circulation that passes through over and over and over until it pulls away the moisture from this. It allows these to become uh, more like they were when they shipped and they were inside the bag. And it's going to allow that moisture to evaporate and put it back to that kind of optimal printing uh, property that you had when you first got them. So if you find that your filament is very brittle and it snaps and you try and put it in the PTFE tube, that's why. You need to run it through a filament uh, dryer like this and pull that away from, uh, pull that, that moisture away from the, uh, the uh, material. This becomes more important when you get into more exotic materials. This is simply PLA. Uh, but obviously, if you go to PETG or, you know, you print another type of material, uh, those things probably have a lower tolerance uh, than PLA does. So if you find yourself in a situation where you're struggling to get 
uh, get your filaments to come out clean or you're struggling to get bonding, uh, it could be as simple as you just need to dry things. Speaking of the dryer, we're gonna go ahead and spin this around. It uses a standard plug that you find just about everywhere. So if that's not long enough for you, you certainly can swap it. We're gonna fire this up. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this just for simplicity's sake. And throw this back on. Gotta get that spun around. Close and close. Did I turn it off instead of turn it on? There we go. A little power on self test. And there you go. Apologize, had to move there. Uh, lighting is always fun when trying to shoot these things. So you can see here, we have the present value and we have the set value. Depending on what type of material, you're gonna set this value differently. Um, I'm gonna grab a chart here rather than try and remember it off the top of my head. Uh, but you'll have different values for different materials. So for instance, if you are doing PLA, you're gonna use a drying temperature of around 50 to 55 C. Uh, wood, PETG, TPU, same thing. That's gonna be about a four to six hour drying time. Whereas PVA, PVB, ASA, ABS, P, uh, those are all gonna be 65 to 70 degrees centigrade for four to six hours. And PAPC is 65 to 70 for 10 to 12. So we're gonna go over here and adjust this up to, what did I say, 55? 50 to 55, well, 53 sounds good. So we're gonna hit set. That's gonna to start to heat this up so it's at 48. It's gonna bring it up to 53. Now there's one last feature that I wanna show you before we let this thing do its work. Obviously once this thing is good to go and everything is dry, you're gonna to wanna to use this. You don't wanna pull it out of here, right? Well, you don't have to. So on the side here, you're gonna see there are some grommets. And these grommets here can be run directly to your PET, uh, PEF, PEFT? The feeding tube for your printer. So you can simply run these directly to your printer and print directly out of this spool unit. And instead of running it off of uh, a spool off the back of your printer, you can run it directly out of this unit. So if you're looking for a unit that you could stack up three of these and potentially save a ton of space, it is very hard to go wrong here. Uh, you can also hear, I'm gonna go ahead and put the microphone very close to this. You can barely hear the thing. It's very, very quiet. So uh, this is gonna be a, a pretty big win for me. Uh, just in terms of being able to run my print farm and continue to build amazing Space Marine stuff. So hopefully this is helpful to you. You can get to see this new unit before it comes out on the 31st of August. I'm Ron Burke, editor-in-chief for GamingTrend.com. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and we'll see you again very soon.